little nugget of education about ways to close the sale. So we're talking in the leasing arena. When someone is looking for an apartment, here are six ways that you, six different types of closing techniques that you can use based on what's best for the customer at that time. So the urgency close, one of my most favorites, uh, is where essentially you're, you're being honest, but you're saying, okay, based on the criteria that you had, the time frame that you're looking to move in, we only have this one or these two units available. So the likelihood that they'll be rented by tomorrow or by the time you guys leave is very high. So I would recommend that you go ahead and fill out an application to make the reservation today. That would be an example of an urgency close. The if this and that is essentially when you're able to, it's a way to see if you can weed out to see if they're really serious, but also in some cases it is just a small change that makes the difference for the customer and helps them commit. So for example, let's say I'm touring an apartment and they're like, I really like this apartment, but this refrigerator just has so many dents in it. And I'm like, okay. If I am able to find a refrigerator with less dents, would you lease this apartment? Right? If this and that. If the dented refrigerator is really the only issue, then they'll be like, of course. If it's not and they were just using that as an objection, well, then we're able to dig a little bit deeper and see if we're able to find out if they're serious or if there's something else that we can do to get closer to the close. My most favorite close is the direct close, and that's essentially where you make the assumption that they want to apply. And the reason you're making this assumption is because you have apartments to offer, right? And they came to you looking for an apartment. And in today's customer world, they don't physically come and look at an apartment until they're really, really serious. Like you've made the top three apartments. And so they really, really, really want to live at your property. They're just essentially making sure that you're legit. So you make the assumption that they want to live there and you say, okay, here's the application. Go ahead and complete this and let me know if you have any questions. And then they can be like, oh, I have questions. Or you can be like, all right, let's go ahead and get that holding deposit taken care of. Let's make you my neighbor. And then they can push back and go, okay, well, we've got a couple more questions or, you know, we need to wait a little bit or whatever their reasoning is. Then you can work from there on their pros and their cons. The next closing is a small close. So this is like little closes that lead to the big close. So maybe you're working with a customer that just isn't cut out for the urgency close or the direct close. They need to feel a little bit more and they need to say yes a little bit more before they say yes to the big yes. So this might be where you're asking them along the way, could you see your furniture fitting in this apartment? Could you see your dog or your cat living here? Could you see yourself living here? If the answer is yes every single time, then those are small closes, right? They're saying yes. So then when you get to the big close and you say, well, it sounds like everything that we have here works for your lifestyle, works for your cat's lifestyle. Would you be interested in filling out an application? It might be a little bit easier. It should be a little bit easier to say yes because you've gotten the commitment along the way. The 24-hour close is a very effective tool for somebody that maybe needs to bring somebody back or maybe has other appointments um, or maybe they just, you know, they really just need a little bit of time to think it over, but they don't want to miss out on the great deal. So a great one that works with urgency close, I believe. So this is where maybe they say, you know, I've got these other appointments and I really like this unit. Okay, well, here's what you can do. You can put $100 down as our holding deposit, fill out the application, and we'll hold the unit for 24 hours. We won't rent it to anybody else. In that 24 hours, if you decide to rent elsewhere or that this is just not the home for you, call us, come in. We'll go ahead and refund your $100. We'll cancel your application. No harm, no foul. After the 24 hours, if we don't hear from you, we'll assume that you want to move forward with the application process. We'll charge the fee and we'll go ahead and start processing your application. So that's essentially it. The last one that we'll discuss today is called the counselor close. And this is great, again, if you've got someone who's very analytical, maybe along with a small close, you've determined that an urgency or a direct close just would not work for this person. Then this is where you can actually go through their pros and cons list and go, okay, so we looked at the apartment. Let's talk about everything that you loved, okay? You said that you loved that it's new construction. You said that you liked that there was a garage and it has a washer and dryer in, in the unit. Some of the cons are it's a little bit further from work. It doesn't have private 
entrances and the deposit is a little bit higher than the rest of the market. Does that sound like everything that would be an objection that you'd have? Yes, no. Okay. When they say, yeah, that's that's really it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and Google how far it is to your job or if there's any other additional routes or yada, yada, yada. And where you're going through and you're kind of just being their counselor or their friend, you're bouncing off these ideas and helping them talk through as they get to where they're like, okay, yeah, that does really make sense. Okay. Well, then let's go ahead and get that apartment reserved for you. I'll have you look over this application and get started. We'll collect the pay stubs and we'll get you, we'll get you moved in. So hopefully you found this useful. I'd love to hear your feedback at any point. So if you can share that with me, I hope you have an amazing week, your second week here in 2023. If there's anything that we can do to support you, let us know. But until then, stay super smart.